So Ellen had a post, this is two days ago, all right? It's got four and a half million views. And when, whenever you have a talk show, you have a, a, you have, you have a guest on that wrote a book about something, oh, eat less meat or do this or do that. And then all of a sudden you're an expert. It's like anyone who watches a documentary and then talks like that and just spits it back out and just spits out the verbiage like, oh, I read the Bible and now, you know, Jesus said this, Jesus said that, or I read a book about not eating meat. Well, you shouldn't do this because this is bad and this is bad. You have no fucking idea from personal experience. You watched something or you read something and then you just spout off that nonsense, okay? Meat's not bad for you. Shitty meat is bad for you. Shitty meat is bad for you. Eating a lot of shitty meat is bad for you. Eating a lot of junk food is bad for you. Eating a lot of processed sugar and processed carbohydrates are bad for you, okay? There are a lot of things that are bad for you in excess. And a lot of you might say, okay, well, the, the poison is not in the actual product, it's in the dosage. Well, some of these things have no value. Do you want to eat junk food even a little bit and get no value from that? Some people can get away. Some of you don't care about the little health consequences down the line from eating a little bit of shit regularly. If you're having cheat meals, that's individualized, okay? But you can't deny that when you're eating junk food and you're eating a lot of calories, you're going to get obese, you're going to have health problems. That's fact. That's not debatable. So we're not going to go down that road. What I will go down the road is people that are using their platform to just spout random fucking nonsense because it's trending. Because it's trending. It's trending. So Ellen's on the trending train. And of course, she has to toe the line. Of course, she's, um, you know, she's, she's lesbian herself. So I'm not saying that this has anything to do with it, but there's a lot of social groups and social acceptance groups that are part of the LGBT community that are part of all this. And I'm not going to get political, but it's just a fact. There are a lot of movements in the socially left, okay, politically left, that is all about the fat acceptance, body positive, you know, we should all have the same, the whole, you know, socially democratic socialism, stuff like that. A lot of acceptance, a lot of even the playing field. Okay. So this kind of goes aligned with all of those things. And a lot of these media groups are left wing and promote all these different little social movements. Okay. That's just a fact. That's where a lot of this lies. So it ties into her audience. That's my point of saying this. It ties into her audience. It ties into that same rhetoric that keeps that pace. Now, I'm not saying with any of this content, I'm not saying that eating tons and tons and tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of meat is the best thing for you. I'm certainly not also saying that vegan is the best thing for you. I do not think meat is bad for you, okay? You can say that, that's my opinion, fine. Me eating meat is not bad for you. It is not bad for you. Eating shitty meat is bad for you. Eating garbage meat in large quantities, of course, is bad for you. Not exercising is bad for you, okay? Not exercising is bad for you. Uh, sitting on the fucking couch, getting stressed out, doing things that you are miserable with in your life is bad for you. A lot of these things, a lot of things in the world are bad for you. And eating meat is not one of them. That's why we're here today on this fucking earth is because we can eat meat. We can eat meat. Is it destroying the earth? Listen, a lot of fucking things. A lot of fucking things are destroying the earth. Like, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. A lot of things. Come on. Why are we doing this? Why are we having this conversation with eating meat? It's destroying the, destroying the fucking earth. Is that what it is, really? Is that, talk to me. Is that really what it is? How many of you think that eating, and that's the reason why we have all these problems, right? That's the reason why we're eating meat. It's bad for the earth. Is it really? Is it really bad for the earth or is it bad for us because we are over farming? We are over. I still think, I don't think eating meat is bad, but we certainly don't need to produce that much of it, do we? We don't need to produce that much of it because, you ready? We don't need to produce that much of it because. We don't need to produce that much of it because we don't need that many calories. We have too many calories available. We waste a lot of food. We waste a lot of food we don't need that much food. We're obese because we're eating too many calories, okay? We're eating too many calories. We're eating too many calories. We don't need that much meat, period. We don't need that much. We have too much mass production. If you look, if you go to the supermarket on any day, any given day, on any given day in the supermarket, you have so much food. Do you think that food stays good forever? It doesn't, it goes bad and they throw it out or they recycle it or they throw it in the trash and it rots and it goes to a junkyard and buzzards eat it. You know, we have too much food. If we just stop producing so much food, yeah, maybe the price of meat would go up, but people would eat. That's a good thing, I think. Honestly, if the price of meat, look, I don't want it to get more expensive. I don't want people to be hard up for food, right? I don't want to, I don't want people to have trouble buying quality food. But if you think about this, if there wasn't such an over creation 
of fast food, of burgers, of all this meat that doesn't get eaten, that is mixed with other garbage fillers to make it more voluminous so they can sell it at McDonald's and Burger King and Wendy's and KFC and all this stuff. It would be more expensive and then people would buy less of it because it'd be more expensive. So it would make it harder for people to consume so many calories because the food would get more expensive. Now, that's not the same as me saying, I want people to pay more. I want you to struggle more. I don't want you to struggle more. But I think there's like some kind of balance and I'm not an economic expert because there's a lot of things that have to move. There's a lot of moving pieces that have to be done. If you just do one thing like, hey, let's stop eating so much meat. You, everyone thinks that's going to solve the fucking problem. We still need just as much food for a growing population. So something else is going to get destroyed. Something else is going to be created. There isn't going to be this like altruistic, like, oh, everything is like fucking Willy Wonka and like Alice in Wonderland is just flowing and there's air is just pure because we're just eating plants. It's not going to work like that. We still have to create calories for a growing, 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 growing population. People just keep on fucking stop fucking. That helps too. stop fucking. And we don't need more food. So just a couple of thoughts before we watch this clip. So I'm going to show you this clip and then you can see what I'm talking about. And then we can continue the uh, discussion. How about that? Here we go. Let me just unmute the audio and then we can watch this. Oh, hi there. It's uh, Ellen DeGeneres here. Uh, I was scrolling through the gram and I noticed that a lot of people are talking about eating less meat, which I think is a fantastic idea. Um, just it's a great idea for the planet. It's a great idea for, for your health. It's a great idea for the animal's health. Um, so eat less meat unless you're a vegan and you don't eat meat already, then good for you. So you don't even need to pay attention to this. But uh, for the people who do eat meat, just try to eat less of it. Just maybe just uh, maybe eat it less once a week or, or none a week. Or just, you know, like if you eat it every night, don't eat it every night. Eat it less than that. The point is it's better for you and it's better for the environment and, uh, and, and for the animals. Eat less meat. Hashtag eat less meat. Hey, be neat. No meat. Be neat. Eat less meat. Hashtag be neat. Eat less meat. Hashtag bye bye. Oh, hi there. It's a. Uh... Okay. So we watched that. Um, as you can see, it's completely devoid of any actual information. It's literally just her saying, eat less meat. That, that, that's really, that's all she's saying. She says nothing is better for the animals. Yeah, well, if you don't kill an animal, I guess it would be better if you don't kill the animal for that animal. But I mean, what about human beings? Like, it's. It doesn't mean anything. Okay. If I don't pour water on a rock, that rock won't get wet for a second. Okay. If I don't jump, then I won't be in the air. I don't know. Like any kind of, any kind of phrasing like that would make any sense. There's just not, there's nothing to it. There's nothing to it. It has nothing, nothing to do with anything. It's just telling people to eat less meat. Now, Ellen, I have nothing wrong with her. I actually like her. I like her. I think she's funny. I think she does a lot of good things. I think she's one of the better ones. I don't have any problem with her individually. What I do have a problem with are fucking celebrities with massive platforms just spewing nonsense. Eat less meat. It's better for you. Says who? How is it better? Like, says what? Eating meat is bad because I eat meat. I'm not healthy. Get the fuck out of here. There's nothing there, but just someone saying, um, eat less meat. It's better for, um, yeah, because uh, you should eat it once a week or none a week. So now people are going to watch this. You know that some people are Ellen fanatics and now they're not eating meat. So they're not going to be doing vegan correctly. They're not going to be getting their nutrients. A lot of people are going to have fucking problems trying to go vegan because of this clip or because of the show or whoever she had on the show. This is just a huge platform to spew complete nonsense. If you want to talk to someone who made a viral video, if you want to talk to someone who like, oh, look at this boy with the balloon. I had this boy, the video went viral. Those types of people should be on Ellen. A celebrity that comes on that has a new movie coming out, you should go on Ellen. Ellen, you should not be talking about anything with nutrition. You should not be talking about anything with health or exercise. She's trying to be funny. She's doing her little broken speech, like, uh, like I don't know what I'm talking about, kind of silly, like, uh, hashtag, uh, bye-bye, uh, hashtag, uh, be neat, eat less meat, little cheesy comedy. That's not funny. 
That's not funny. This is the problem with Instagram nutrition. I've been going after Instagram nutrition for fucking months, probably a year or more. And I'm, I have a lot of accounts that I am about to fucking thrash here on, um, on the main channel, on Swanormous channel. And it's not to be mean to people. It's to expose more of these things because a lot of people use Instagram. A lot of people use Instagram. A lot of people watch Ellen. And obviously a lot of people watch Ellen's Instagram. This has 4,322,659 views at the time of me pulling up this video. That is a lot. That's a lot. And eating meat is not bad for you. Get the hell fucking out of here. It's not. The way people are eating the meat in terms of low quality meat, not good. Eating a lot of low quality meat, not good. Burning the meat and crisping it, not good. You don't want to fucking burn meat. You don't want to be eating carcinogenic food. There are ways to get around it. There are ways to cook. There are ways to prepare. You don't want to get an excess of certain amino acids. Well, you can balance that out by consuming more collagen, blah, blah, and all these different things when you're eating a more higher meat diet or you're consuming red meat. There's nothing wrong with it. That's why we're here on earth. There's nothing wrong with eating fucking meat. You could also be extremely sick we don't talk about that enough here, Ellen. You can be extremely sick and extremely unhealthy not eating meat. You could be extremely unhealthy. I have many accounts I've talked about already on my main channel, vegan holistic coaches that look like they're about to die. Hardcore anorexics that say they're recovering from eating disorders. Not from the looks of it, you're in the middle of it. You're not recovering, you're just not dead yet. There are a lot of people that are on that extreme that are vegans and they look like they are going to die today. It's extremely bad. And these are people that promote in their profile that they're a coach, that they are a health coach. Uh, they shouldn't be counseling anyone. That should be illegal. And there's a lot of issues with Instagram, of course, because you don't get all the context. And I'm not saying that some people can fucking go without meat and be healthy. Sure. And a lot of people can eat meat and be completely healthy because they do. Is there any doubt why the vast majority, was it 90 or 95% of the entire world, maybe even more, are not vegan? Well, we're doing pretty good as a species, fam. That's why we keep on growing. That's why there's more of us. All of a sudden, turning to plants is not going to stop. How are we going to fucking grow plants fast enough? You know, we're just going to all of a sudden just sprout plants everywhere and everything's going to be plant-based. We're still going to be, we're overpopulating, period. It's not solving any problems. I love that. All of a sudden, we're going to stop eating so much meat and the earth is going to be fine. It's going to take so many fucking decades or centuries to shift that. There are so many more pending things that could change before that even fucking makes a difference. Seriously, that's there's so many more things that we can do for the environment right now that supersedes this whole fucking issue. Everyone loves to pick a cause. Everyone loves to pick a cause. We can fight cancer. We, we could barely fight obesity because everyone's getting fucking butthurt about that. But when you go after and you talk about like, I mean, there's so many other issues with pollution. There's so many other issues with, um, you know, with energy production that has nothing to do with this that we could be doing right now. Carbon capture and all this type of stuff. It's fucking brutal. It's brutal. And people are very, very confused about veganism. People are confused with survival and thriving. Okay. Some people can hack it. If you force your body to adapt, it will adapt. You can adapt to a vegan diet if you force yourself to, but not everyone can stick to it. Your body will adapt. You know why? Because your body doesn't want to die. Your body doesn't want to die. So if it's only getting nutrients from certain things, it can try to swap and work it out. But it doesn't mean that's optimal for it. it doesn't mean that you should be a vegan. It doesn't mean that's going to work for everyone either. And if you're watching this and you're a vegan, totally fine. Not against vegans. That's not what this podcast is about. But what I am against, it's like the same thing. I'd be saying the same thing if she was talking about being a carnivore. Oh, you should go carnivore. Don't eat plants. Go carnivore. It's the same kind of extreme. Like, who the fuck are you, Ellen, to say anything about the environment? And of course, it's your opinion, just like this is my opinion. So you have the right. And again, I'm not arguing her ability or her right to say it but I have that equal right to voice my opinion against it. So that's all, the, that's all that this is. That's all that this is. This is just me voicing my opinion versus her opinion. She just has a lot more people listening to her opinion, and it's going to hurt a lot of people. It's going to hurt a lot of people. And this type of social movement, it's popular. It's popular to talk out against meat. It's popular right now. It's trending to be plant-based. It's trending to go vegan. That's the cool thing. It's cool to be a vegan. It's cool to eat less meat. That'll go away. That'll go away like anything else. It was bad to eat fat for a while. Now fat's more popular. Everyone's doing keto and this. And now veganism is, veganism is popular. It's just social media is more popular. 
information travels faster. So it's just another trend. It's just another fad. And when I say fad, I'm not saying that veganism itself is a fad. No, that's a lifestyle. That's a choice. That's a moral choice. That's almost a religious approach to your food and to your lifestyle. Okay. That is not a fad. That's just there. But the promotion of it is a fad. Does that make sense? Keto. That's a way of eating. That's a methodology in which you are biasing your body towards blood ketones and you're limiting your net carbohydrates, blah, 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 to produce a certain series of mechanisms in the body that will thrive off a high, extremely high fat diet rather than carbohydrate based. That's a fad now. It's promoted as a fad, but it's a style of eating. It's a method of eating that can benefit a lot of people. So these things in themselves are not fads, but the promotion, the social discussion is a fad. It's a trend. It's something new and stimulating. And wow, I can get behind that. I'm a good person. Again, I'll say it a thousand times. Too many fucking animal movies. Too much Disney. There's no shock that all this stuff is so fucking popular and Disney's like one of the biggest companies in the entire fucking world. All they do is make animal movies. Well, when your animals talk and they have a personality and they have a character arc, yeah, you're not going to want to kill the net. You're not going to want to kill an animal. That's okay. Hold on. I spilled coffee. Mmm, don't waste. I just licked it off thick. I just licked it off the coffee coaster. Fuck yeah. Anyway, it just bothers me when you see celebrities. Like, she's not a fucking nutritionist. She didn't write a book. What, she had a guest on that probably had a book, and now she's spouting it like she's a fucking messiah? The fuck out of here. The fuck out of here. But look, it's her opinion. It's her that's her podcast. That's her platform that she created with her hard work and her humor and personality, just like this is with me. So again, I'm not saying that she doesn't have the right to say that. I'm just making my right known to say the same thing and voice my opinion about her opinion. It's just a dialogue. I don't, I don't get it. I don't agree. I don't agree with what she posted. And a lot of people in the comments, in her comments, are speaking out about it. You know, everyone's like, a lot of people are jumping on it. And some people are like, well, Ellen, I thought your audience was so accepting. They don't sound that way. It's because people don't like getting bullshitted and people are getting a lot smarter um, when it comes to this types, these types of content. You're like, wait a second, check the source. Who the fuck is, who the, who's saying this? Ellen, who the fuck are you to talk about my nutrition? Like, are people going to, are people supposed to change how they eat? Are people supposed to change how they eat because they saw it on Ellen? Ellen DeGeneres said that you shouldn't eat meat. Oh, but I love Ellen. Oh, I wish I could eat meat. Then fucking eat meat. Thanks for watching, fam. Make sure to subscribe to the Daily Soul podcast on YouTube so you can catch the live streams every single day.